Hi, welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to manage employee loan in ERP Next. Let's check steps to manage employee loan. Create loan type. New loan type. Let's set loan type as home loan. Enter maximum loan amount. Enter yearly interest percentage. Save loan type. Also, you should create some accounts in the chart of accounts to manage the accounting of employee loan. Create employee loan account in the current asset. Create an income account to book interest earned on loan. Let's check how employee will apply for the loan. Now we are logged in as an employee who is applying for loan. To apply for the loan, create new employee loan application. Select an employee. Select loan type. Enter loan amount. Select date by which you need loan amount. Select repayment method. If repay fixed amount for the period is selected, then enter monthly repayment amount. If repay over a number of periods is selected, then enter numbers of months for loan repayment. Let's go ahead which repayment amount per period. Enter monthly repayment amount. Save employee loan application. Once the loan application is saved by an employee, a user with HR manager role will be able to approve or reject it. Now, we should log in as a HR manager to further process this application. Open employee's loan application. Update status to approved. Save and submit employee loan application. Once approved, employee loan will be created against employee loan application. Create employee loan from the approved employee loan application. Employee and loan type details will be fetched from employee loan application. Enter posting date. If loan installment is to be deducted from employee's salary, check field repay from salary. Select disbursement date. Monthly repayment amount will be auto-calculated on save. You can also enter it manually if needed. In the account info section, select mode of payment. Select employee loan account. Select interest income account. Save employee loan. On saving employee loan, repayment schedule will be generated. Submit employee loan. When paying the principal amount to an employee, create disbursement entry. Select posting date. In the disbursement entry, employee's loan account will be debited, and bank or cash account will be credited. Enter payment acknowledgement details. Save and submit journal entry. Based on the disbursement entry, status of the employee loan will be updated to fully disbursed. If loan repayment amount is to be deducted from the employee's salary, then here is how repayment details will be updated in the employee's salary slip. When creating salary slip, 
total loan repayment amount will be calculated based on principal amount and loan amount. Based on total loan repayment amount, employees' net pay will be reduced. If loan repayment entry is to be created manually, then this is how you should create journal entry for it. Open new journal entry. Select employee loan account. Credit principal amount. Select employee loan interest account. Credit interest amount received. Select your bank account and debit total amount received from an employee as loan repayment. Enter payment acknowledgement details. Save and submit journal entry. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, go to erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.